leaf color ants at the Virginia Museum of Natural History were brought here in April of 2014 from the tropical island of Trinidad. Leaf color ants live by feeding on fungus that they grow themselves. Here at the museum, we provide fresh leaves, which the ants cut with their jaws and then take back to the nest to grow the fungus. The worker ants in the colony have several specialized roles. Foragers cut, gather the leaves, and bring the leaves back to the nest. An individual leaf color can carry 50 times its own body weight. These ants gain needed energy by drinking the sap that comes out of the leaves when cut. Another group of worker ants chop up the leaves for gardeners to grow the fungus. Inside the mouths of leaf color ants live a special bacterium that the ants excrete to grow the fungus. The fungus garden is located inside a nest. Other ants help in the process by distributing the leaf bits or tending the fungus. The ants that tend the fungus are called minime. They are some of the tiniest ants in the colony. In nature, parasitic flies will try to lay eggs on the ants working on the leaf. Minime sit on the leaf and protect the workers from the flies. The nest in the fungus garden is also where the queen lives. After mating, the queen spends all her life in the fungus garden where she continuously lays eggs to add to the colony's population, which can reach up to 5 million ants. Most of the ants in the colony will live for a few years, but the queen can live up to 15 years. When the leaves in the garden are exhausted or can no longer be used, the ants will move them to a waste pile in a dump chamber. They will also move the dead fungus from the nest into the waste pile to prevent fungal disease from spreading to the healthy fungus. To see more of the ants, visit the Education Center at the Virginia Museum of Natural History.